jailer is the key. Kill him, and you'll be free. Well, isn't this just a poorly spelt title for an aptly named game? And with the tagline of the jailer is the key, kill him and you'll be free, Fury is at its surface, resoundingly confusing. From the sadistic developer Game Breakers, Fury is a combat-driven third-person action fighting game where you take on the role as the Stranger, a mysterious swordsman incarcerated and held by the Jailer. Not much is given about the story, just that we must defeat Guardians on our journey through different layers of this space-bound prison to earn our freedom. Although aptly mute, the Stranger is given context by a man dressed as a rabbit. Look, I know it sounds like some typical cringy anime, but the good news is that it plays like one too. In all seriousness, Fury is the greatest boss-focused action game I've ever played. A viewer of mine likened it to Cuphead in that specific regard, and he's certainly not wrong. Sword swipes, joystick firing, carefully timed parries and precise dodges aren't skills that the game gives you to use, they're techniques that you need to master. And every single part of the combat is so crisp and clean, everything tends to play itself out in a wondrous dance of steel and plasma blasts. Many bosses have set patterns to their attacks, while others deploy twists such as changes in attack timing to force you to react to parry opportunities on the fly. All bosses have a final desperation phase and throw bullet hell endurance stages at you, which really delivers a true last stand feel. Both the stranger and his rivals have squares representing their phases. Once your life drains, that phase is lost and your enemy's health is refilled. I previously mentioned the similarity between Cuphead and Fury can be found in the boss rush format the two games present. Fury also mirrors Cuphead in its resounding difficulty. To say which is more challenging of the two games would be folly, since both are tough in contrasting methods of gameplay. What I will say is that Cuphead had an easier transition between demanding to downright infuriating. With its lack of plain stages, Fury is solely boss encounters, encouraging you to fail so you can learn attack patterns and ways of dealing with each boss phase by phase. That's not to say that it's completely hopeless. During battles, successful parries will heal the stranger for small amounts of his health. Some projectiles can be parried and deflected back at the boss. Gunshots can be charged enough to stagger enemies and take out large chunks of their HP. Perfectly timed parries at points of damage will allow you to counter bosses and deal massive damage back. I mention all this to show you that even with this clever game designed by the devs to assist you in each fight, the game is still white knuckle levels of hard. Boss fights themselves can last anywhere between 10 minutes and 30 minutes, and there is 10 of them in total. It should also be noted the game highly recommends a gamepad. With the twin stick setup of left stick movement and right stick shooting, I'd say a gamepad is pretty much compulsory for Fury. Energetic, relentless, beautifully rendered and absorbing, the sci-fi samurai shooter slash slasher that Fury delivers is something special. It's one of those games that's brutal, but it's rewarding. It's formidable for the sake of teaching you to master every single mechanic. And to repeat myself for added effect, it is rewarding. The wonderfully crafted music holds twinges of electronic madness that matches so well with the sword-drawn mysticism of its compounding motif. The graphics, although a tad worn and aged up close, give the world a beautiful tranquility as you pace through the worlds to the next fight, goaded by your rabbit-headed companion. Suffering from some bugs and a little bit of engine stupidity during what should be dramatic build-up hikes to fights, Fury nevertheless is impressive for an indie game. You'd be hard-pressed to understand why this wasn't made on a shorter development schedule by the likes of Ubisoft or Activision, a sideline experiment by creatively drained devs in need of originality before their corporate paymasters dragged them back kicking and screaming to another garbage sequel. But neither company can make a game so strenuous for fear of driving away casual fans, and undoubtedly, as it is with the industry these days, that must be Fury's biggest critique. It's difficult and, for some, can be unbearable. Trust me, I'm as casual as they come when you get down to a game's challenge, and I fucking loved it. You will like this game if you like Cuphead, anime, and deflecting all of life's problems.